Hi, hello and welcome to the session. Uh, in this session we will see how to create a project. So in the previous session we have submitted an idea, a uh, digital transformation that has been created in the project center. So I am inside the, the projects uh, and where you can see a view project center you can go and uh, change the project center views with uh, my active projects, project Gantt chart, charter Gantt chart etc. So we are in project center now and then I'm going to open the project which is uh, uh, just created uh, by submitting an idea. So now this is the project so I'll click and go to edit and uh, so we've got uh, uh, we entered into a details page of the project and uh, this project projects are uh, um, associated with a workflow which is already predefined as you can see on the top of my project we have this workflow we are currently in the proposed and then moving forward uh, we will enter into initiation where we can deal with the uh, stakeholders key stakeholders documentation followed by planning followed by execution and then the, the closure and uh, and one advantage is here is every workflow uh, it will identify the time uh, spent that you are inside this particular stage how much time you have spent in terms of minutes you will be able to see this uh, now I'm going to fill up see the, the in the details uh, whatever we have already given in the idea so that has come here and if you want to describe about the project what it is you can just describe the project okay this is uh, basically about the project and then I've identified the portfolio program uh, and then the category and here it's already came as uh, active it's a active project or proposed project you can pick it up okay and then uh, if I go to the next page evaluation okay now again I need to give all the evaluations so you can just pick it up uh, additional details all that what you can give here um, as we did in the previous session here you can just give and then if and the moment you save it you can get the score here on the right hand side alright and then I'll go to charter so this is the place where we can document all the uh, high level project details uh, the deliverables of the project what is the expected finish date expected duration expected cost and on the right hand side these are the objectives okay objectives of the project so here you can just click enter and give the date so here whereas we need to just click on the new objective new objective and then there will be a quick form that uh, that you can see here the title of the objective okay uh, I'll say mm, resource pool so I need a centralized um, uh, it is is a centralized um, uh, resource sheet where we can document all the resources and the priority is for me it is high priority and it's a business requirement and owner of the objective is this and then I'll save and close so we basically created an objective okay so since it's a digital transformation and I wanted to have all the uh, enterprise resource management through this solution so I have created one of the objectives as resource pool okay once in the proposed if you have done uh, this is already saved what I'll do I click on the stage and then I safely take it to the next stage you click on the next and then now we are into an initiation stage where uh, the stakeholders and then the initial requirements uh, pages have been opened so open stakeholders and document all the key stakeholders by clicking on the new stakeholder list you just click on the new stakeholder name of the stakeholder is he internal external okay now what power he has uh, towards your project and uh, what is the interest it basically stakeholder analysis power and interest grid and again and then you can give all the details okay click save uh, you'll get all the stakeholders documented here and in the next step so based on the stakeholders um, uh, I mean from the stakeholders we basically collect all the requirements of the project as a project management processes right so you document all the projects 
all the so by adding so it, these are all just adding okay just click on the new requirements and then keep listing of all the requirements so we can basically close the initiation so once this is done with these initial requirements and documentation i would take my project to planning so where uh, you have lot of things so if you see here story pointing the scope of the project the schedule of the project financials of the project okay and then etc like the risk register communication deliverables and if you if you click on the three dots you will get a change log decisions etc okay so i go and then create all of them so i'll go to the scope this is you know, as part of project management we call this as a project scope statement so you where you document the product description project description what are the exclusions what are the in scope items okay and then um, any constraints assumptions you can uh, document by adding here and then in terms of schedule if you click on the schedule this will ideally take us through uh, take us to the project for web project for web so which is already uh, connected as a plugin project for web if you want to uh, create any plan here here itself you can create otherwise you directly click on open this will open to uh, direct browser edition project for web so where you can get a complete visibility of the schedule you create it add all the tasks okay um so that uh, okay i just created feasibility okay so inside we have um, so task a task b task c let's say there are three activities so i wanted to group all the three um uh, under feasibility you can do this uh, and then assign give the durations okay so if you want the start date finish date you keep adding so click on add column and you can click add all that and then once this is done you can basically i think uh, this is in the uh, browser you don't need to save etc i can uh, directly close and then uh, see the feasibility everything whatever i just created in the project for web has come here and these are all navigation so you can either handle through uh, gantt charts so click on the charts sorry timeline you can get a gantt chart okay and or if you want to have a board view you can have a board view where you can uh, create your own uh, buckets add bucket or edit bucket keep it active uh, task list work in progress task list completed task list where you can uh, move all your activities like this all right so once this is done um, you just click on the financials and go and give the budgets of the project what is your forecast what is your budget what is your actual all that and then um, uh, we, we also can go and create the the milestone see i have feasibility as a milestone because currently i didn't say uh, feasibility i didn't give any duration so if i go and give duration to the task a like uh, okay i need this for 5 days and this is for 10 days and task c is a milestone so zero day ideally is a milestone correct so now i go back to the milestones and do one refresh here i'll go to the milestones list okay so this is taking time all right i'll go to milestones refresh here and the task c alone is a milestone right so whatever the milestones that you define inside the schedule that comes as a list of milestones in one bucket and you can add the deliverables you can add risk register i'll i'll just touch base on the risk register click on it so you'll have a risk matrix okay the likelihood of the risk and the consequence of the risk okay by adding uh, click new risk you can go and give all the risk name of the risk type of the risk the probability and impact so that you you will get a score okay um etc so once this is done uh, you save it and then uh, so when you are into execution you tell the management saying that we are into execution we completed the uh, schedule see it will stop me because because if i don't save the baseline it won't allow me to go to the execution so you need to have a baseline so now all the activities have been here so now what i'll do i'll add a baseline so baseline 1 i click on a baseline 1 and click on the save so this will be baseline so whatever the uh, durations 
start finish dates the resources that you have committed against the line items that will be freezed that will be baseline then if I go and click next okay so only when I set the baseline committed something then it, this will take me to the execution so execution nothing much see the you will have a, a status report here and then deliverables have already there and uh, issue log change log decision progress update so these are the additional pages that you are getting so if you drop down the three uh, dots here uh, click on the three dots you'll get the additional pages and fill in all the pages manage your project here itself with all the committed values actuals the remaining all the status you would get okay and then on the other hand uh, we can also try um, uh, seeing the reports a power bi report so that time and time whenever you update your data uh, the same data will be um, uh, pre uh, th that will be populated in the power bi dashboard because these are all data connected data sets that are connected from the power apps um, you will instantly get all the uh, reports milestone reports portfolio milestones and if you want a specific project status you click on the specific project status provided so we need to um, plug in this uh, power bi you need to have a power bi pro licenses so that uh, the standard version what we have built that would come here along with the solution so once execution is done I'll go and say that uh, uh, closure and then uh, there will be a, a one closure report uh, lessons learned so you update your lessons learned and then click on the close and what is the final date that my project closure you select and then click on finish the project will be uh, technically finished uh, as per as per the portal okay uh, this is the overall flow uh, to create a project and then drive through the project from the proposal stage to the closure and on the other hand you'll have uh, reports that's it from my end for today thank you